The Future Combat Air System, or FCAS, is said to be the largest and most ambitious European defense project over the next few decades, estimated to cost over 100 billion euros until its completion in 2040. This video will explore what FCAS is, who is involved, and what will happen next. And at the very end of the video, the UK will also make an appearance, who is working on an identical project with two other EU member states. Firstly, the FCAS project aims to create a brand new fighter jet, which is connected and works together with a network of unmanned remote carriers. To enable this system of systems, the project aims to create a combat cloud, where information can be shared across platforms, with allied forces, and cross domain, allowing for more analytics and quick AI-enabled decision-making. This will revolutionize Europe's air defense system and eventually replace European aircraft, such as the Eurofighter in Germany and Spain and the Rafale in France. The project was launched in 2017 by France and Germany, where it was decided that Dassault Aviation and Airbus, two competing companies, would work together and lead the project. By 2019, Spain also joined the initiative, bringing a third company, Indra, into the picture. Here is a high-level view of the companies and subcontractors involved and what they are working on. However, in the last few years the project has stalled, as the forced union of Dassault and Airbus has been difficult. Reports have suggested that Dassault has refused to budge in a long-running row over intellectual property rights, and that Airbus has been pushing for a larger work share of the Dassault-led project. Nonetheless, there has been a recent breakthrough in the mid of November 2022, as all three countries have agreed to start Project Phase 1B, with first prototypes and demos available by 2027 to 2028, which is a two-year delay already. The project is set to finish by 2040, but in June this year, the Dassault CEO has already said that FCAS likely won't be operational until 2050. I think projects such as FCAS are important for Europe, as we are investing in our own economy rather than just buying from the US or other countries. We are also keeping our know-how and we are creating a single jet and system rather than three separate ones. Yet the irony is that the UK, Italy and Sweden are also developing a new fighter jet through the Tempest program. Managing two programs in Europe seems incredibly inefficient and the former CEO of Airbus Defence and Space has said as much, suggesting that Europe is making the same mistake as in the 1990s where three combat aircraft were developed in parallel, the Eurofighter, the Gripen, and the Rafale. There are reports, however, speculating that these programs might eventually merge. But what do you think of FCAS? And should it be merged with the Tempest program? Let me know in the comments, and please subscribe and like the video. Until next time.